uh, today I want to share you a uh, method for us to export data from ArcGIS, Ma ArcGIS Pro um, because there are a lot of um, data in ArcGIS um, but how to use uh, these data and how to re um, modify this data uh, you might need to uh, edit this data but how to get this data from ArcGIS Pro that is a problem that we need to figure out and I've already figured it out so I want to share my experience with you uh, first let's choose uh, data that uh, um, uh, need to be exported here I take the satellite thermal hot spots and fire activity data as an example um, first you can choose the data and uh, right click it and then you can see attribute data uh, attribute table here I rec highly recommend to uh, using this button to uh, check the uh, data um, which can help us to uh, know uh, what exactly the data are so click this button and then uh, you can see this panel in this panel uh, what it show, uh, show to us is the data uh, in the data set so here you can see there are several columns and each columns are have their own meaning and which is uh, 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 written in the um, field names and uh, then uh, what, ne what we need to do next is to export this data you might think you might say ah it's very easy we can just uh, select them and uh, just copy it but I want to say there is no copy button here so you need to um, follow the next uh, guidance to export the data first you can choose the analyze uh, button in this uh, menu menu bar and then uh, choose tools and then you can see there is a geo processing panel and choose toolboxes there are a lot of toolboxes here and then you choose the spatial statistics tools and uh, choose the utilities and then choose and export the feature attribute to and uh, click it click it and then you can see um, it needs us to uh, choose the input uh, feature plus here we choose satellite thermal hotspots and fire activities and then it will show the uh, value field here which is exactly the same as what we see in the attribute panel uh, attribute attribute table here um, each column are uh, corresponding to uh, each value field and then you can choose what you want to out export here I select all of them and then um, what I need to uh, emphasize here is uh, in this del uh, de 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 delimiter delimiter uh, uh, option here you need you better choose co uh, comma rather than space uh, though the space is the default uh, delimit uh, delimiter here um, it, uh, if you choose space it might uh, have some problems especially when the data when the column when the data in the column has has space here um, because uh, you, you use the space as uh, the delimiter of each column but uh, may, maybe there is uh, there is also space spaces in one column and then it might take um, take like uh, for example it might take uh, 12 a.m. as uh, the data of solar Venice uh, then then is angle so that is what I want to emphasize you better choose comma and uh, then um, we choose the output file place here we can have a name for this file and uh, then I highly recommend to add CSV here because C CSV is uh, important uh, um, data format for us to uh, see the data and uh, it is also can uh, recognize the
common de delimiter. So we choose to uh, save the data as CSV data because there is no CSV data type here. So we just manually type uh, CSV here and then save. And uh, another tips, uh, a tip I want to introduce is to add the field names to the output. It's better to, I highly recommend to take this um, option um, because uh, with these names, you can know uh, the meaning of each column. And then uh, we would all set and then we can click run. Um, and then just wait for a few minutes to um, wait the data uh, until it exports. Now it's successfully uh, completed. And now we can see the data in, we just now we uh, export. So here is the data. We can choose Microsoft Excel to uh, check to see the data. Here you can see um, each column are correctly output. Because we choose comma as delimiter, so um, you can see although there are uh, spaces here, they are correctly uh, recognized as one column. So that is what I want to introduce you. Hope it can um, help you guys to export data from the ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for watching the video. Bye bye.